Welcome to my talk, Chris 101, an overview to representational state transfer API. Can you wait a second, please? I, I have to do something. Fun fact is uh, I'm very nervous about this, and it's the first time I, I'm doing this, talking to uh, a large audience. Um, it's, it's my body, it's my brain, uh, so I had to burn adrenaline to, yeah, just check it, Wikipedia or something. Um, and when, when you have a lot of adrenaline, you have to fight. And I think I'm not, I'm not going to fight with anybody, <laughs> or I have to escape. It, the door is open, but <laughs> so I had to work uh, doing push-ups. Okay, now, um, yeah, first thing, okay, let's begin. Uh, that is just me. This is me, um, um, I'm a student um, at this university. Um, that's my web page and uh, my feed app uh, tonight for this. So, uh, what is a web service? Uh, first of all, how many of you have used a uh, web service? Okay, uh, what, what do you use? What API have you have used? I use the Sheila again. Sheila, okay, uh-huh. And uh, what, who else? Okay, there's a lot of uh, APIs. Um, Some of uh, you have, uh, you know, the YouTube API, but the, the real thing is that a lot of companies are using Amazon, Facebook, Twitter, and so many, so many. Okay, uh, what, what, what is a web service? Um, the web service is a service offered by an electronic device to another electronic device communicated with each other via the World Wide Web. Okay, um, so what is an API? You, you may know what is um, an API is, uh, stands for Application Interface Programming Interface. Sorry. Um, and it is a contract provided by a piece of software to another. As samples, we have C++, C++ API, um, Udo API, and so many. So what is REST? REST stands for Representation of State Transfer. And it is an architecture of the software side and was proposed by Crowfield and, and on his thesis in 2000. So, uh, REST relies strongly on HTTP. Uh, you, you can use uh, with other protocol, with other uh, layer 7 uh, protocol like FTP, SMMTP, and so many. Um, so HTTP is uh, used by web browser and web service to communicate. And HTTP has some verbs. And we can use some verbs, uh, and I have a list here, uh, some of them. He is the mental as for a response, identical to that of get requests, but without the response body. When we, uh, when our web browser uh, does, um, wants to enter to Google, for example, uh, it's doing a get. And if the response is the same, 
you get a generic response. And you have get, you have boss. This is usually when we have a web form, we have the boss, we have to use boss. Batch is, is similar to fruit. And fruit is to update. The, these birds are used to update uh, some resources. And re uh, REST relies a lot of in resource. Um, the resource is any information that can be named. And a document, an image, a temporal service, etc. has constraints and these constraints are client server and the client server is perhaps the most uh, foundational constraint. Client server forces the separation of concerns in the form of a client server architecture. Uh, this helps establish a fundamental distributed architecture thereby uh, supporting an, the dependent evolution of the client side logic and server side logic. Then we have the constraint of the stateless. And the communication between the service consumer, the client, and the service server must be stateless between requests. This means that each request from a server consumer should contain all the necessary information for the server to understand the meaning of the request. We have the, co the cache constraint and response message from the service to its consumers are explicitly labeled as catchable or negligible. Nor catchable. Okay. And then we got the interface uniform contract. And uh, the rest uniform contract is based on three fundamental elements. The resource uh, identifies syntax and we uh, implement it with using the URL or the URI. Then we have the, the methods uh, using here, the, we, uh, we have HTTP and then the MIDI types. Um, any, any kind of Yana Chester do you like text? HTML, text, CSS, image, GPE, G, etc. Okay, I, I don't know how to pronounce this Kate O A S now. Uh, but it's, it stands for hypermedia as the ancient of the uh, hypermedia is the ancient of the application state. And this is a constraint of the REST app architecture that distinguish it from uh, most other network application architecture. The principle is that a client interact with a network application entirely through hypermedia provided by dynamically by application servers. Okay, now, now I will list some HTTP status code. And this is uh, where HTTP status range is not shown. Um, if we have one of the 100 series, hold on. If you have 200 series, here you go. 300, you go away. Four. Hi, <laughs> okay, with 200, if you have a 200 response, there's a okay, no problem at all. This is uh, the most uh, nice thing ever. Um, well, you have uh, others, 201, 202, 204, and then we have uh, the 300 series, there is we have uh, redirections 
and the 400 series we have we get uh, 400 we get a uh, lot request um, if we have uh, 403 it is forbidden you you may not log it or something and the most famous is 404 when something is not found and then we have the 500 series and there's an internal server error and 501 okay now uh, for the explaining it we got uh, certain levels of rest we have the level serial the most basic and then we have level 1, level 2, or level 3. And I want to explain something. And level 0 uses implemented protocol normally HTTP, but it doesn't have to be. Like a transport protocol, that is, it tunnels requests and responses through its protocol without using the protocol to indicate a location state. It will use only one entry point, URI, and one kind of method. In HTTP, this normally is the box method. Examples, okay, um, level one. Now we are using resources. Now we uh, my API can distinguish between different resources um, then the level 2 we're using now HTTP pairs and the three uh, levels in the 0 and 1 and 0 and 1 we are using the false pair and now we can use get and finally, we got the uh, level three, we hyper media controls. It is the highest level. It is used to hate OS to deal with discovering the possibilities of your API towards the clients. And now I will give you um, an example that I need your help. I need it to who want have um, an US phone number. Oh. <laughs> okay, can can you write? Yeah. Okay, come here. Come here. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Who are you going to use? Twilio? Who knows? Twilio? Or Twilio? To send a uh, text message? Um, to send, okay. So I have uh, this URL, and what it basically said does is to send a post request and with these parameters and then I have here the API URL is in my resource and I hide and this is the, my parameters this is the phone number you should write it This is an example. Okay. And now, this is the form where I will send the, the text. And first, first is ready. Okay. Okay, okay. Hold on.
It's already the video of a cut, and this is usually happens in REST API, so... It might take some time. Yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know what I... Okay, um, well, uh, that's all. Thank you.